Hello again everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, up in the woods but a bit of a different uh, um, accommodation today. I've taken delivery of a new tent which I bought. It's a One Tigris Rock Fortress. It's a, um, they call it a hot tent. Um, the reason that I bought this one is because it's about the same size as the Norwegian larvae that we've got but it only weighs about three and a half, four kilos, whereas the Nor Norwegian larvae weighs 75 kilos, I think. I'm up with Richard and he's setting up his new tent and I look forward to whatever transpires this afternoon. I don't quite know what, what he's going to be doing. Uh, all I do know is that it's very much lighter than the larvae, which is a big relief. So this is it, the One Tigress Rock Fortress. You're about setting it up. So that's the One Tigress Rock Fortress tent put up. You can see how big it is, so I should be able to stand up inside that. You can see I'm standing up. That's a hell of a size of tent that is. Great. So the roof burning looks like it goes just about here, which means that then people can sleep there. I think the next thing to do is put the stove jack in. Well, the chimney is long enough. Now, in the last video, I introduced you to the smallest wood, uh, the smallest twig stove ever, and because it was so small, I thought I needed something a little bigger, and so I went shopping, and uh, I found this thing on Amazon, which I'm really rather surprised at for the price. Okay, so this is the one that I got to use. When I, when I need something for the bigger. It was off Amazon and it literally just unfolds. Like this. You can use it either way up. Um, I think I'll use it this way up. And this is the, the ashtray and this is what the twigs sit on and it literally just clips in you clip it into this side as well and then you put the pot stand on and that's it and this is if you want to cook things on the top so like sausage or something so they don't drop through and that whole thing was £19.99 off Amazon it's made out of stainless steel um, it's a, a bit heavier than a, your average bush box but not much heavier but it's a lot bigger, which means that I can put much bigger twigs in. 
first firing. Take the pot stand off, it's easier to put things in then. Certainly going to be able to fit quite a few twigs on here. Absolutely fantastic. I think it's about eight inches by five or six, five inches, maybe five and a half inches. So it's, a, it's quite a sizable thing, but like I say, for £19.99, that's just stupid. Especially when the bush boxes are like 30, 40, 50 quid. I've got Sarah with me today, or Mrs. Shadow. She's just off photographing mushrooms at the moment, she's just on her way back. So I thought she'd like a cup of coffee. Sarah's back from her foraging trip in her little rocking chair. Now, there's another piece of kit that I haven't shown you yet. I've had this for about, mm, must be about six or seven months. This is a, uh, a bushcraft food processor. <laughs> so it comes, you can, you can whisk things. There's a whisky thing. And you can dice things, which is the bit that I'm going to use today. And the way that it works is you put whatever it is that you're dicing in there. And then you pull the handle. <laughs> which is quite quite neat, I think. This is just a really simple um, sauce to go on the pizza, so it's a pizza based sauce. So you start off with some onions and get those softened a bit and then put the garlic in and then uh, the basil and then some tomato passata. And put the herbs in there. So it's just basil and oregano. 
And those are the, well, they're fresh ones as well, so they're much better than the, um, the dried ones. I might add just a little bit of water to that because I don't need it to be thick. I mean, cook the water out. So take that off the heat. So, <laughs> the food process has got four knives on it. So let's see how we get on. Top it on. <laughs> That's fantastic. This just this just chopped up all of the lumps, and made it into a puree. But that's perfect, absolutely fantastic. What a great piece of kit. Um, if you're interested, I believe it was £8.95 off, again, off Amazon. Um, and I, it's called a clean eating chop and churn. So I've got a load of different sorts of bark from the third of a bag of the double O grade pasta flour. Mm. Mm. Delicious. I'll so go the, uh... You pour it in, zip it up and give it a squeeze. Don't you know? hot work this. Oops. <laughs> There's certainly enough flour there. This bag weighs about half a kilo. Spoon holder. I thought I'd just been invited down to have pizza. <laughs> I've also got a pizza stone, which was a it was part of a set which had been uh, damaged, and so I got it for two pounds.
174. I'm a bit warmer than that really. That's probably too big isn't it? Make three out of that. That precision, a little bit crispy on one side. crispy base here's the pudding nice crispy base nice crispy top burn my mouth Cheers, Jim. Cheers, Jim.
there are multiple luminous points on them, but they only work if the torch, if, it, if it's a head torch, if you just shine a light at them, like this, nothing. You shine them like that, and it, it's amazing. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, absolute belting night's sleep. It's about half past ten now, and uh, we've just got up, so we've been a bit lazy, but it was very comfortable in there. It was almost too mild for the um, the fire, so I only had a very, very small fire and the wood burner. But uh, no, it was really comfortable. There's um, condensation on the insides, which you get with a single wall tent. Um, so as long as you stay away from the outsides, then uh, then you're okay. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, it's just time for coffee now. So I'm going to get uh, the twig stove set up and uh, put the percolator on it. Lighter decided that it wasn't going to play. <laughs> it never gets old, that. Do another one for Sarah. In fact, Sarah can have this one, and then I'll have another one. And taste the difference. Jersey milk. How's oh, about that then? Well, that was a very tasty coffee, and uh, marks the end of another video. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>